What happened last night in Duval? It was wild card round LA Chargers versus the Jacksonville Jaguars here at CIAA Bankfield on NBC in prime time. I told you the bank was going to be live, and it was. But it was two different kind of lives because one half was went one way, the other half was the other way. I don't know how it happened. I watched it with my own eyes, and I still don't believe it happened. Nevertheless, Let's get to it. Trevor Lawrence in the first half, 10 for 24, 77 yards, one touchdown, not one, not two, not three, but four interceptions. Four. This man, his playoff debut, and he came out in the first half and threw four interceptions. Four. Four. Three of them in the first quarter. And the sickly three of them to that guy who has the ball in his hand for the L.A. Chargers, Asante Samuel Jury, number 26. He had three interceptions. Of the four, Trevor threw three interceptions in the first quarter. So the Charger game was on it. Oh, they was on it. They were jumping all the short routes, all the intermediate routes. They was not going to get beat short. They weren't going to get beat short, and they proved it. Okay, four turnovers by the quarterback. And it got to a point of the four turnovers. The Chargers scored on all four possessions that lead to a turnover. To a tune of a 27-0 lead. Before the Jacksonville Jaguars score to end that first half to, to cut the lead down to 27 to 7. But at this moment in time, in the second quarter, we're about just under four minutes to go. This is what the Chargers win percentage was 98.3%. I'm on 27. But like they always say, they are two halves to the game, not one. Speaking of two guys in the game, there was a different Trevor Lawrence in the second half. 18 for 23, 2, 11, and 3 touchdowns in the second half. And you can see the enthusiasm from Trevor Lawrence. He was waking up in the second half and started pumping. Nevertheless, the Jaguars go on to complete the third largest comeback in playoff history, thus winning. 31 to 30 over the Los Angeles Chargers. The Jaguars outscored the Chargers 31 to 3 after being down 27 nothing. Which leads Justin Herbert walking off TI. A.A. Bankfield looking like this of this big collapse in his first playoff debut, by the way. While Trevor Lawrence and Derek Reason gets the hug out, gets the hug it out after they could really come back victory. And then you get to one Brandon Staley. Brandon Staley. Sir, you had the game plan in the first half. Second half, Doug Peterson out there. You see, this guy here who's hugging Trevor Lawrence is the head coach of the Jaguars. Yeah, was. Who is a Super Bowl champion coach from the Philadelphia Eagles who beat Tom Brady and the League and the Patriots. You should know that going to the game if you're Brandon Staley. And you should know how to make adjustments. You made adjustments from week three to, to last night because you showed what's going to let last, what happened in week three happen last night. And it was evident because you had your you had your secondary jumping all the short routes. And they wasn't. Nevertheless, the Peterson. The Peterson had a way to get Trevor Lawrence from having what kind of tower first like he had to having this kind of second half. So. Mr. Uh, Brandon Staley. You are now part of history in the worst of ways of the with Dan Quinn. Because now, the guy who had three interceptions in the game, all in the first half, is walking off the field like this if you're Asante Samuel Jr. because you came back to the state of Florida when you graduated from Florida State University and you were showing out and people, Florida State fans were happy for you. But at the end, you're walking out like this. Because Brandon Staley and the Chargers are the first teams in 2000 to lose a playoff game. 
with a plus five turnover margin. That was turned the ball over five times. The Chargers didn't turn the ball over. And yet, as you can see, the final score, the team that turned the ball over five times is the one who got the victory. And remember the matches that I told y'all about yesterday, the running back matchup? Well, let's see. Austin Eckler scored twice, two of them off of interceptions. Well, you only had 13 carries for 35 yards. On the other hand, Travis Etienne, 20 carries, 109 yards, made about a good 20 of them coming on the fourth and one. That set up the game winning. Brandon Staley. Guess what? The biggest blown lead in Charger history. Shout out to the SB Nation for this. I want to give credit, credit to you. The Chargers were up 27-0 on the Jaguars, but less than a minute to go in the second quarter. That's when the Jaguars scored their touchdown. They won the halftime 27-7. to It is the third largest blown lead in the NFL playoff. Brandon Staley, I would be very surprised if you keep your job after this one because you let a team who was down four possessions, four possessions, Come back and beat you. That's a damn shame. In your playoff debut alone with Justin Herbert. Justin Herbert deserves better. And the Chargers franchise deserves better. And you're not dividing it. One more time for the home team. And a glorious victory for the Jaguars. I'll do it one more time for them. Duval! Jaguars. Into the AOC division around. Chargers going home.